And it's just a constant string of missions. It's like you go talk to a guy, go here. Go talk to a guy, go here. And it's it's always just sending you on a loop. It's, oh, go here and, and find this intel. Oh, the intel's gone. Okay, go talk to this guy. Go here. The intel's here. Oh, it's blown up. Okay. Good job, guys. All right. I mean, I know I'm complaining a lot about this game, but it's not that good. And I like to give all games a pretty fair chance, but this one is just, it's rubbing me the wrong way, and it keeps doing so. Still going, still going, still going, and I bet you it freezes when it's loading in. Frozen, there we go. This guy, uh, this guy's not even bringing his gun. This guy's gun is on the floor. Loading screen. It spent 45 seconds loading that one small area, and there was still pop in when I entered it. Fantastic job, pal. I better watch my back. You'll be taking over from me around here soon. Nice to have someone who knows what they're doing. Very funny. Oh, dial 911. What's up, Doc? What brings you all the way down here, Doctor? Someone tell you we found some band-aids? Listen, Crawford sent a message. The KPA know about the armory. They're going to attack. The fuck did you say? If they hit the armory, we'll lose it all. All our weapons, all the equipment. You gotta warn your men. There's still time to get him out. Not without those weapons. We need him for the uprising. We'll be left fighting the Norks with spoons. 
No, no, no. We need to get everything out first. Find someplace new to stash it. We should turn the tables. Surprise them before they hit us. Yeah. Yeah, an evacuation's gonna take a while anyway, huh? We need to stall them. It sounds like it's ambush time. At least we have plenty of, uh, explosives ready. There'll be bits of Nork landing all the way over in Pyongyang. And like fireworks, Ethan. You think this is funny? Think you can joke about killing like it's nothing? Hey, Doc. Last time I took the moral high ground, I brought a sniper with me. So where are we gonna stash the guns? Hmm? Oh, it's gotta be someplace safe. A few places would be better, so, uh... Hey, Doc. We don't need to use your clinics. They're insane. Perfect. When the revolution starts, we'll have everything right where we need it. No! What if the Norks find them? They'll execute everyone. You can't risk my people. That's not ideal, Doc, but this is fucking war, man. I spent four years begging, borrowing, and stealing to get these clinics up and running. It's a joke to even call them that. But they're all we have. All the people have. Well, be careful, Sam. I'm sorry, we got no choice. The hell with you. Shit. His people? So sweet. All right. You need to get over to the army and help prepare the ambush. Me and Dana are gonna round up as many fighters as we can and meet you over there. Don't have all the fun without us, Ethan. Look, you gotta hold them off until we get there with reinforcements. We need to secure those weapons, you understand me? Don't let me down. Hey, Dana, come on. You gotta move. Speak to my team and I'll see you there. That's okay, man. Come on, we have Marie. to get we to the armory. You. We need to get everyone to Ned's place fast. You're gonna need something bigger than that, my friend. Take this RPG. It's a real fucking deal. I remember reading before this game came out that the developers were saying this game, or at least a single player part of it, was 30 hours long. If this game is literally even one third of that i don't know if i'll be able to finish it and i know like most developers overestimate by like a lot how long their games are so i'm hoping that 30 hours includes taking your time dying 50 times getting every quote unquote collectible or in this case breaking every piece of equipment and turning on every random radio you see and even then leaving your game paused and cooking lunch like 10 times throughout the course of your playthrough because I do not see this being 30 hours and I definitely do not see it being 30 fun hours. All right, Ned's in trouble. Ned, I'm sending Brady and everyone we can spare now. Dana and me are gonna get our teams together and come as soon as we can. Just hold on, we need those weapons. Of course. That's probably the proper thing to be doing right now. Fucking lots of shitting themselves we took this area so easily. Fucking embarrassing. And whatever this girl's doing, I don't even know. Crash. Ned, can't hold them. We have to fall back. We're still loading the guns onto the trucks. You have to find a way to stall them longer. Fucking Christ. All right, Ned. Let's move your asses. Great. Thank fuck we need help. We've got to hold the Norse back till Ned can get the guns loaded. Come on, man. First trucks away. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. I think we can do this. Two more trucks are on their way out. We just need a bit longer. There's too many of them. We haven't got a chance. Ned, we're fucked out here. Are you guys ready?
Guys, you've done all you can out there. Fall back to me. We'll make our stand here. Before the KPA bust in here. Quickly, follow me. Ned, this is Parrish. The orcs are screening their attack. We can't break through to you. They're breaking through! Get back! The KPA are storming our position! We can't hold them for long! There's too many of them! We haven't got a chance! What the hell? Like, come on. We gotta hold them off till those trucks are loaded. Everybody spread out. Watch your lines of sight. They're breaking through! Get back! Protect the trucks! Oh no, don't die. What the hell? What the hell is going on? I am so confused. How the fuck do we stop it? It's gonna kill us! Missed. I don't understand.